Hey loves, welcome back for another cash envelope stuffing video. I hope that y'all are having an awesome week. Thank you for joining me again to um, take a look at my budget and stuff my envelopes in my wallet here. So if this is your first time watching my video, my name is Janika and I do cash stuffing videos, budgeting videos that I'm actually gonna get more into um, coming in the month of June. But if you like cash stuffing videos and channels about budgeting, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Y'all leave me a comment and let's get started. All right, y'all, so here is my weekly check-in for the third week of May. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this up. So in my spending category, I spent um, $13. And so that's gonna leave me with five, six, and seven for spending. And um, I actually went over in one of my envelopes, but y'all are gonna see that. Um, well, you probably already see it <laughs> in my eating out category. For gas, everything was spent. Same for groceries, eating out. Um, I do have the ones here left over because from my 20, I spent 18, but then I used my buffer account and spent another 15. So for the remainder of the month, I have $77 left in my eating out budget, which is not terrible considering that we're pretty much at the end of the month. In home, I spent 10. So I have a five left. And then I didn't spend anything in medicine. So I have that 10 that is left. And my beauty envelope always rolls over. But in beauty, I have 20, one, two, three, and four. And then um, I don't have anything that needs to go to the bank. So I'm thinking for the summer, um, by the way, if y'all like my pocket planner and if this is your first time seeing it, these are available on my website. Um, I have them. Um, in pink and in black both have rose gold on the inside so um back to what i was saying <laughs> for the summer i think that i'm going to roll over all of my money into my sinking funds um instead of my saving challenges so i do the 52 week saving challenge and i'm going to continue to do that but then i also have a rollover challenge five dollar and one dollar challenge but like i said for the summer y'all I'm thinking that I'm going to stuff this money in my sinking funds because they need it the most. So um, I will be back to allocate the rollover money. All right, so my ones are going to go in my Amazon Prime envelope, um, which is perfect. I need to do a bill exchange in this envelope, so I will more than likely do that. Um, I probably won't include it in the video at the end, but I can do it off camera. But this is to pay my Amazon Prime bill, which is due, I guess, next month or July. Who really knows? I don't know. I'll just see it when it comes out. Um, but I think I have over $90 saved in here. So that's really going to help with that bill. Clothing, I'm going to give one five to my clothing envelope. So in clothing i have 51 20 35 45 55 56 so 156 in clothing i'm due for like a little shopping spree um very little can't do too much with this and so i'm deciding if i'm going to just use my buffer account and go shopping i don't really know i don't know how i want to do it but yeah i'm going to put the remaining five in my outings envelope and then i'm going to put this ten dollars from my medicine envelope into my medical sinking fund um i have not started my appointments yet but they will be starting very soon okay so i'll be back to stuff the cash envelope all right so spending is actually going to get 40 this week and i'm good because i have over 100 dollars left in that um gas is going to get 50. 
groceries is going to get 60. Eating out is going to get 20. Home is getting 15. Meds is going to get 10. And then for beauty, we still have the $24 left over. Okay, so today we are stuffing $371. And then um, I'm going to be doing a cash exchange at the end of the video of a little over $1,300. So I'm excited about that. My saving challenge, my 52 week saving challenge, I always just pull the money right out of the bank. So for that, we are at 19. Next week, I think I'm gonna have to do two stuffing. So I might use my rollover money to help me out with that. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Um, yeah, and I'll be exchanging this off camera as well. I'm, I'm just gonna ex do my cash exchange with my sinking funds, um, but I'll exchange all this money off camera so that it's not too full and I don't need a second envelope. So now we will move to the cash envelopes. So spending is getting 40 this week. So 20, 40. Gas is going to be getting 50. Y'all, I'm gonna start back doing my monthly budget videos starting next month in June. I'm super excited about it. Um, I will also be setting up a business budget because I'll talk to y'all about what's going on with that. Groceries is getting 60, so 50 and a 10. Eating out is getting 20. Home is going to get 15. And medicine is getting 10. I'm so sorry if y'all can hear my stomach. I'm recording this in the morning and I have not eaten. So, so sorry if y'all heard that. Okay, so next I will be back with my um, sinking funds and we'll stuff those. Okay, y'all, so these are my um, A6 planners that I'm using that are available in the shop in black and pink. And I'm going to um, take out my reference card here that I just used to prevent myself from having to write this stuff down every single week. The birthday is going to get $20. I have finally decided what I'm doing for my birthday, y'all. And um, I actually don't know <laughs> if $20 is enough to be stuffing. I may have to stuff more. Um, but my little sister, which I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because it's not my business really to you know, go into detail about, but my little sister is moving to LA this summer, so um, I've decided that I'm going to LA for my birthday. Now, I have been to LA before because I have family that live near that area. Um, I have family in Lancaster, like just different parts of California. Um, so I have briefly been in LA. Like I was, we flew to Vegas and we drove um, from Vegas to LA to visit our family. And we were only there for like a day, like we spent the night. Um, so we didn't really get, they kind of like drove us around Hollywood. Like it was real quick. It was at nighttime. Also, we stayed in the truck. So we didn't really get to do a whole lot, but y'all, I'm going to LA for my birthday. 
God willing. So in birthday, we have 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 60, 81, 381. So, um, yes, I'm going to L.A. I want to like really, you know, visit, go to different places, see different things like no little drive by tours like we did. We were really going to Vegas. Like that's where we spent the most of our time and just decided like, oh, L.A. or wherever we dro drove to. Um, I don't know if it was Lancaster or, or L.A., but it was only like a four hour drive. So we went ahead and drove out there and spent the night. But I'm really going to get the experience this time around. So with my little sister um, moving out there this summer, that will give me some place to stay. So I do have family out there that I could stay with. Um, I do, but I was probably gonna end up getting like, I don't know, like a hotel or something. But with my little sister moving out there, I can um, stay out there with her. I don't know if I'm going by myself or not, um, but I'm not concerned about that. Um, so that would give me some, some place to stay. Also, like I told y'all, I was supposed to go to Hollywood in January, but it was in the same week that I launched, um, some new envelopes and like y'all went crazy in the shops. I had so much to do. I wasn't able to go, but I still have those points. Um, so I will still be able to book my ticket and then I will also get, uh, get money off because of the tickets I didn't use in January. So not having to spend money on a hotel, getting money off my flight ticket, all of that sounds like LA is the spot for the birthday. So business, I put 15, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75. And what I was going to update y'all on this is, if you have seen some of my recent, um, like in the last year, my recent cash stuffing videos, you'll know that I pretty much, um, I pretty much, what is outings getting? Outings is getting five. I combine my business budget with my personal budget because I do rely on that income. But y'all, um, I've been doing that since what almost a year I guess and it's not really working out um I just don't feel like I have as good of a handle on my business finances as I really want to so if you're in business you know that your revenue is not your income your income is your revenue minus your expenses and I've been giving myself a monthly budget for my business expenses but it fluctuates so much especially if I have a sale going on, if I'm launching a new product, it just fluctuates. So I've decided to go back to what I was originally doing, which was um, tracking my business expenses. So I left that method and just went to giving myself a budget and not having to track individual expenses, but just, you know, not spending more than that budgeted amount. Um, but like I said, that's that's not working out for me. I tried it, it's not working. So we're gonna go back to tracking business expenses individually. Um, so I will have new stickers that I'm getting from Sarah Marie for business budget. Um, and y'all will see that starting in June. So in outings, I have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. But yeah, so that is going to be changing because I have to make sure that um, before I go sit down with like an accountant or a tax person, whatever, I just want to have like all of my numbers together and I pay my mom. So, you know, I have to have all that together as well. OK, so in LASIK, we are putting a 10. And that's going to give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, nine, seventy.
I am gonna see my optometrist this summer. Um, I don't have vision insurance. I just have medical and dental, so I'll be paying out of pocket for that visit, but I just wanna make sure that I'm like staying in touch with her on a yearly basis, especially as, you know, within the next several years, couple years, not several, couple of years, um, that I could hopefully get the LASIK surgery. So I wanna just make sure that um, I'm doing everything that I need to do to maintain the health of my eyes because I really wanna get LASIK. I hope I don't have to get PKR or PRK, whatever that is. Um, I know it's a more painful surgery and it's a longer recovery time. So I'm really hoping that I can still qualify for LASIK. So I will be in touch with her quite frequently to make sure that I'm doing whatever I need to do to maintain the health of my eyes. Um, car maintenance, I put 25. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81. Miscellaneous is going to get 10. If y'all heard that, I'm so sorry. I have not, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm sorry if y'all can hear that. Okay, so in, in miscellaneous, I have 50. Um, I did have what 250 took that out to help with taxes so back at ground zero but that's okay let's see yeah my travel envelope is getting five I just use this envelope as like a buffer when I go out of town. Um, but whenever I am traveling, I always just like include it or take it out of my budget and then use this envelope just as a backup in case, I don't know, I need an extra hundred and something dollars for something that I didn't budget for. Travel 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, one. Gifts is going to be getting a five. The next gift that I will be gifting is going to be my mom's birthday. So in gifts, we have 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 100... $12. Medical is going to get a 20. And then we also put the 10 in there. So that's a total of 30. That's going in. So in medical, we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So 444. And then my last envelope is my church envelope for this stack. And I just have a 20. Um, right now, this envelope is not a priority. I'm just paying my tithes and offering, and I don't have any special offerings right now. 
So next I'll be back with my zipper envelopes. All right, so we are back with the zipper envelopes. Invest is going to get $2. So if you haven't, um, if you watched like maybe a video from a few weeks ago and I was talking about like the stock market crashing and taking my money out, <laughs> Um, well, y'all have convinced me to leave it in, so I will not be removing any funds from the stock market and it is going down. So somebody was like, oh, I don't think nobody can predict the stock market. Like you have people that have been involved in this market for decades. So while you may not be able to predict things, you learn the market, like let's be for real. So I don't know who said that. I read it on one of my videos. I was like, girl, hush. So um, yeah, it's definitely going down. And didn't I tell y'all, my dad said that it was gonna go down in June. We're at the end of May and I'm all red. So I don't know, it's kind of creepy, but we'll just see what happens. Invest got two, so I should have 10, two, four, six, eight, and 10. Yeah, so um, I wanted to address that comment. Again, I don't know who said it, but I read it. And then there was another comment I wanted to address. Um, I think, oh yeah, I think someone was asking like, could we take the same principle that we apply to like cash stuffings and just like do this with a checking account and a savings account? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, so this is a cash based system. So you cannot like, I don't, I don't know. I, and not, I'm not saying that this person was saying that, but I know some people like on social media, like TikTok and different places, why not just put the money in the bank? Like, I'm like, y'all, it's a cash based system. If it wasn't a cash based system, we wouldn't be using cash. It's a cash based system. So we use cash. It doesn't work for everybody. And you know, everybody has their different opinions about it. But for a lot of people, it works. And yeah, so those are my little rants. Electronics, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 50, 70, 90, 800, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 8, 55. Yeah, so um, for electronics, um, I decided that instead of using it for a phone, I'm gonna save it for like if some of my other devices go out, like my laptops or my computer, um, because those are more vital to my business. So I'd rather have some money in case one of those, you know, go out on me. You just have to be prepared. So my next phone, which I'm probably gonna get this summer, I'll just be paying for it with the bill. Emergency, I have 1,000, 100, 20, 35, 45, 55. 56, 57, 58. So 1,158. Giveaways is going to get $3. And I have not forgotten about doing um, giveaways for you guys, for us reaching 13,000 subscribers on the channel. I just had been busy with catching up from my anniversary sale that I had in April and then my new planner launch. Um, so, but I will be doing a giveaway. So in giveaways, I have 50, 65, was that right? 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81.
My buffer taxes envelope is going to get $5. Four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty five. Christmas is also getting five. Four. One hundred five dollars, fifty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety five, one five. This amount is going to increase after my birthday. Functions is getting five. I will be capping um, this one off at one hundred dollars. So we have fifty, seventy five, eighty five, ninety one and two. So ninety two dollars in functions. And then future is going to get two dollars. And future does not have a specific purpose. Um, it's literally just extra money without a specific category. So I have 300 of it in the bank and then two, four, six, eight, and 10. And so the last thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and do this cash exchange, which is one of my favorite things to do of all time. So I will be right back. In the tray, I'm gonna take a 50, a 20, and a 10 for 80. And then in the envelope, one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80. And I'm just gonna put this money to the side, grab my new money and put it in. For three eighty one. For business, I'm going to be exchanging for seventy. So I'm going to take a fifty and a twenty, and then take out seventy dollars. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five, seventy. So I have 75. Outings, I'm gonna be exchanging for $65. So I'm gonna take a 50, a 10, and a five. So 65 is gonna be 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. LASIK is getting 70. So I'm gonna go 50, 20. And 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. And car maintenance is still kind of thick because of all those hundreds, but we are only $30 away from a 1K slip. So that will be happening in the month of June. Car maintenance is going to get 80. So I'm going to go 50, 70, 80, <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So we have 81 in car maintenance. Miscellaneous is going to be getting a 50. So 
So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. My travel envelope is going to get 30. So 20 and 10. So we're gonna go 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Gifts is going to get 110. So I'm gonna do 110. And I apologize in advance if y'all can hear the dog. Um, somebody came to the door, so. Yeah, so 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 105. So I'm gonna count that again. 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and 10, 100. 10. So in gifts, I should have 112. And I believe that is right. Yeah. Medical is going to be getting 120. So that's going to be 100 and a 20. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I'll put that there. And then for the 20, I'm gonna go take the two tens and grab a 20. So in medical, we have one, two, three, four, 420, 440, one, two, three, four, 444. And church is not going to get an exchange. So our binder is much smaller, y'all, as you can see, much slimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pink binder so that we can keep this going. All right, so in invest, let me see, put that like that. I'm going to take out all these ones and grab a 10. I remember that all these, that was 10. So we're just gonna grab a 10 and stick it in there. Electronics, we're gonna take out 150. So I have my prop bills and 50, 70, 90, 100. Let me grab my 150. And 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now we should have 855. So I know that this is 7, 8, 50, and 5. Emergency is going to get 50. So I'm going to pull out of 50. And 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Giveaways is going to get 30. So let me take my 20 and my 10. Put that to the side. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in gifts, I should have 81. And do.
not gives giveaways I should have 81 taxes is getting a 20 5 10 15 20 for a 20 Christmas is going to be getting 100. So 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And I have 105 in Christmas. Functions is going to get a 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And future is gonna get a 10. And if I'm not mistaken, that's gonna be all the ones. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. And then the rest of this money, guys, we're going to go ahead and exchange my 52 weeks um, saving challenges because I forgot that I did include that in the breakdown. All right. So for my 52 weeks, we are going to be exchanging two hundred eighty five dollars. So two fifty, seventy, eighty and five. So we're going to take this slow because I don't want to mess up. <laughs> Fifty one hundred. Well, I say it's slow, I'm going kind of fast. 50, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, y'all. So we should have that two oh two hundred eighty five, which is which I do, and then the four ones make two eighty nine. So that is going to conclude the video. Thank y'all so much for staying tuned um, for this portion of the video. This is going to be all of the money that I'm taking back to the bank, which is right at um, thirteen fifty. We will be taking this back to the bank. So I hope that you have a great weekend. I hope to see you next weekend or next week. Bye.